hello hello everybody hello i'm greeting you by your time you are welcome back to my channel this is chula worldwide i don't want to put that tv ah every time this will be tempting me put chula worldwide tv i don't want to put you are welcome back to my channel if you are meeting me for the first time this is chula worldwide yeah you are welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed if this is your first time you are just coming across this channel subscription is free can you subscribe don't forget to click on the notification bell in case i'm dropping a video you get notification <coughs> thank you so much and for my subscribers so far i see a very big fat thank you for the people who took time to subscribe to my youtube channel and for those of you who haven't subscribed that always come to view if i've dropped a content always come to view if i dropped anything else i also say thank you but what are you waiting for subscription is free click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell as well for you to encourage me for me to be dropping a content yeah i know um growing youtube is not an easy thing so since i'm one of those people that don't think out loud yesterday i was just thinking like oh my god what of if we now wake up one day and now there is a button that says um for you to subscribe to somebody's channel you have to pay what will i do what will, <laughs> what will people like me do how am I going to cope? Now that it's free, people are not subscribing. Why? Because people don't subscribe to anything normal. In the, these days, this season that we are living, people don't subscribe to your YouTube channel if you are normal. Except you are abnormal. Your sense is not correct anymore. That's when people will subscribe to your YouTube channel. So the thing got me thinking like, what if we now wake up tomorrow and they say, for you to subscribe, you have to pay. Hmm. What will, <laughs> what will I not do now that it's free? People are not subscribing. They are looking like me. They are looking at me and nya nya. What will I not do? Okay. Hey. I was just thinking out loud and I said, okay. Okay. Let you, I hope things like that doesn't happen. Anyway, that was my own thinking. That was your thinking. It was my thinking. So if you are just coming across this channel, please kindly subscribe. And click on the notification bell and for the people who have subscribed so far thank you so much and to my Facebook friends all of you that are there on my Facebook I won't sweat thunder for you people because uh, that is it so that is it you are welcome to my youtube channel again it's Chula worldwide yo you are welcome um, I want to quickly drop a short video titled um, depression depression uh, when it got to do with depression we Africans we find it very difficult to understand what is depression and how it works who can face depression how can you handle depression it's not everybody that is depressed. Some people are depressed, but every normal human being break down one time in their life and become depressed. You can depress because of so many things in your life. Maybe you are trying to fix this with one. <laughs> on their head and the river is not falling <laughs> and the river is not falling into places the way they want they would fall they would become depressed do you believe that so when it got to do with depression so many people de become depressed in so many ways some can want to put this necklace now on their neck and because they have long nails, they can't do it. Immediately, they can become depressed. Yes. So when it got to do with depression, we black people, we see it to be one big thing. 
And believe me, you, it is only people who are depressed that know people that are depressed. Because a lot of them always um, talk from experience. You understand? So, talking about depression, you can be depressed because your shoe, they prepare you for leg. <laughs> because your shoe, they prepare you for leg. You can become depressed on the road. Me, I remember one time ago. I was, was I going to a party? I was coming back. I was going to a party with one of my very good friends then. And she said, Chula, this shoe, before you go dance, that, and that time I was, we were pushing boogie, we were not having driving lessons. And she told me, Chula, this shoe, eh, we need to carry extra shoe because maybe before we work out, grief people finish, can't dance. Leg will come the I said, forget. Now I should not today forget it. No, be you, you don't remember what they rock I should for for Nigeria. I've been at this shoe when I go come they pay for like I've more they go forget that you can see guys slippers. Things don't do food this booty. You know, if you can't sleep as people inside, leave them. Behold, we went to the party, dance, and maybe if she come across this video, she will remember and she will laugh. Eh? We were dancing, 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 greeting, dancing, because it was a, a young girl party like us at our age mate then. We were dancing, dancing, dancing. Behold, my legs started to pain me first. And suddenly, me that was so hyper in a party, I sat down. I became so cool because the shoe, it was paining me and I was having headache at the same time. So immediately, I was so depressed. I was just like, what I leave? I just sit down and was like, mm -hmm. and she walked to me and said, what is it? I said, ah, I don't tell my lady they pay me. He said, no, they said they should they pay for life. No, they for the coin. Far. You know, we have forgotten this party. That time, we, we can enter train and go to party in another country. <laughs> you understand? She said, no, they said that they should they pay for Lego because we have for the Ifa. And you know, say, now winter now, especially when it's on her leg, I said, never know. And small time, my girlfriend was dancing, she just, her leg missed. <laughs> Is it? Her leg, she now missed her leg. And her leg became paining her. Can you imagine that two of us, before we came back home, our leg was, was like ice block. You know, in winter, when you pull your shoes, wearing socks, socks was block. My leg was cold. We we're pushing back. You can't, as in, because the leg was cold now, we became depressed. <laughs> my girlfriend, she cried back home. He said it when she was crying like a baby. I don't know which kind of be this. Shoe matter, not little. So many things. She was beginning to talk all oh, her life history. She was crying. That's it. Anybody can fall into depression. So, but. Another thing is that it's two different things for you to be depressed and be able to talk to somebody or be able to say it out. I remember some few weeks ago now when I wipe up everything, we need to start afresh. Somebody commented on the video that I was saying that, oh, I wipe up everything. Please, I don't want nobody to, you know. Somebody went there and put thumb down on the video. Or is it people? So let me just use it, people. People went there and dropped thumb down. And the other person commented and said, you are depressed. Then I said, okay, at least I was depressed. And I spoke out to my mind. I said it out. And they allowed the depression to kill me, at least. So what am I trying to say is that when you see people quickly jump and tell another person that you are depressed, know that that person, depression want to kill that person. Yes. And I just discovered, I just found out that the person has been depressed for a long time. The person is a single mother. The man run and left her. So she is depressed. Those kind of people are the kind of people that immediately before you say something, they'll jump to you and say, you are depressed. Why? Because they are depressed. They are depressed is not even the problem. They are depressed. They are not talking to nobody. They are not saying it out. They are just there with the depression. We black people, we see depression to be a very uncommon thing. 
like oh she's depressed so they always you know africans we always use everything as mockery to mock people so when it comes to depression you know ebola if you walk to a doctor and say oh doctor every day i don't feel like going out i don't feel like taking my children to school i don't feel like doing this i think i'm it would give you antidepressive pills Take one in the afternoon, take one in the morning, take one in the night, or take another one in the midnight to make your brain calm down. But we black people, if we see somebody talking, the first thing that will come to our mind is that that person is depressed. What about if that person is depressed and she's saying it out after saying that she's free? Rather than some people who are depressed, then stay with their depression and nearly die with their depression. Sorry, <laughs> I blink my eye like Tom Tom. <laughs> so that is it. Please, if you know you are depressed and you are an African, you are a young woman, a young girl, and you are depressed, don't hesitate. Look for somebody around you and talk to. It will do you a whole lot of good. Yeah. Yes, of course, we don't, we, all of us, we are saying that, oh, you cannot trust nobody to talk to, you don't have any close person to talk to, you can't talk to nobody, everybody is disabled. Yes, look for someone you can trust and talk to the person. Look for somebody who can listen very well and talk to the person. It will do you a whole lot of good so that you can quench the depression on you. So that is it. It's so painful that we black people, we don't take these things so serious. And it is really, really bad. When you are depressed, you feel like talking to somebody. You feel like saying it as you can go to your doctor and say, oh, doctor, I, I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like doing that. I think I'm depressed. I need this. I need that. And do your doctor will help you. But if you cannot, then look for somebody close to you and talk to the person. It will do you a whole lot of good. Don't carry it with you. Don't, 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 because if you carry it small time, you become aggressive. You start talking anyhow. That's why you see some women talking out loud in the train station or in the bus stop. They become loud. They, they speak loud. They speak irritating. They are so aggressive, even with their children even with somebody else. And when I see those kind of, of people, I ask myself, oh, were they abused as a child? Why are they so angry? People become so angry because sometimes they have a lot of burden in them. They can't let it out. They have, some have people, but maybe lack of trust because them themselves, they are not good. When you are complaining that everybody is not good, have you checked yourself if you too you are good? Can you be trusted as well? Can you, can, you, can you keep your mouth shut? So before you pen the old world, that the old world is bad, you as well, you, you, you think about yourself, you take a look at yourself, say, oh, am I good? Am I too good? Am I bad as well? So that's when you see some women, they become so aggressive, they talk irritatively, as in anything that comes out of their mouth is irritating. You understand? So, because them themselves, they have issues. They have, they are depressed inside. But, you know, all of us in social media, we are packaging. You know, we are packaging. If you, if you forget, if everybody on social media or everybody you see out of social media forget, forget their packaging for one minute, you will throw up. You will vomit. You understand? So that's it. That's my short video, guys. Please kindly subscribe to this channel. I'm always here. We have lockdown, so you are going to be seeing me frequently. It's okay, Shat. I'm coming. You are going to be seeing me frequently. Makeup, makeup, sewing hair, or whatever, or sitting down like this, dropping a video of talking. It's okay, guys. I'm coming to get you. You understand? So thank you so much for watching. Please kindly subscribe and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. Give a thumbs up before you go. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.